Oh, this actually might be a really good time. It's going to stick him way up here. Let's see. Final corner to go. He has short shifts. Does he? No, he doesn't. Up to fifth. What does he get? Pole! Oh! Fantastic time by Galileo. Me? He gets a jump start penalty already, but the lights are off and off we go. The Merc in the distance gets a good launch off the line. Oh, the Red Bull of Justin, or Joel, sorry, struggles. But Galileo and Futuristic get away reasonably clean. Oh, we've got the Red Bull. Oh, we've got a crash in the back. Who was that? Who bees that? I, it, it's it's Blindevink. Blindevink seemed to have a bit of an issue further back. Oh, my goodness. They're all passing left, right, and center. It's pandemonium down this uh, main street. Surely someone's going to go for checking out already. Well, we've got the McLaren having a go on uh, Snelle. Oh, and it kind of it, it kind of forced uh, Snelle to take a wider Snelle line. To take a wider line. He's struggling, so you might see George here having a little go on Snelle. No, I think he's happy enough to sit behind. What's going on further back? Let me see. We're getting a fantastic camera here. We've got the Mercedes of ja Jimmy. Is P8? I know. I was just on board him for a second. He, he, he's he's thinking about it. Oh, but there's a bit of a tap on the crystals. Chris crystals gone around. Chris has tracked that. Oh, no, 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 no. He's got a lunge on uh, Snella. Did he, did, did, he, did he make it? No, it was Tranquilo, sorry. He did the lunge on uh, Tranquilo. Well, not lunge, but it was a good move at that, uh, her pin, at that uh, her pin on the long straight. Uh, I Jimmy had to go back is... to, to Justin the Racer, my friend, putting some pressure on Futuristic at the top here. Justin's going two places. And that looks like a textbook 101 overtake without that DRS. So a good job there, too, for Justin that racer. We know he's got some pace. Still, well, Stella come to inside. Stella isn't. Jimmy sends it again. Shoot. Well, I, I'm going to say it. I think Jimmy has got ABS because unless I, I'm missing something, but the breaking... Crystals has absolutely been in the wall. I just went on board with him as Futuristic was uh, just getting back. I was trying to go to Futuristic, and then Crystals Around. was like... George has gone around, so two McLarens in a space of half a lap are, uh, are visiting the fence. Might have kept it out of the Some fence. Of the curbs are brutal, but they seem to be losing it that uh, just before the hairpin. So I really kind of got confused with the pace of Jimmy. Mistakes, but he does unfortunately make some mistakes as some of those penalties are coming in thick and fast. But we'll keep an eye on that one later. And we've lost Neko. We've lost the Ferrari driver that I was just talking about. He's gone around somewhere. There he is. And that's, uh, yeah, I'm quite sure what happened there because I was like, how are those tyres feeling? My tyre graphic. Yeah, it, well, it's about 23%, I'd say, from softs. That's not too bad. Would you box? Um, again, I haven't done it off for them. Oh, stayed out. Jamie stayed out. What about Snelly? Snelly a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Soft owners are going to come in. Box is staying out, though. Um, the question is, will we get another safety car? That is the main thing. Second thing is, Fox is going to be kind of sat, well, he is sandwiched between two really fast guys up ahead, and then he's going to have Blind, Vink, and Larson, and Galileo. Larson's pretty quick when he puts nice. his head to it. I get, I get a couple of Formula 2 leagues that are actually been trying to get me to come to do one Formula 2 league, actually, I think. Tough. Anyway, we got to get ready to roll here, mate. It's Abu oh, Dhabi, the lights are out. Well, the lights are sunsetting oh. here. They oh, say Justin is a rapid man. But uh, let's see how quickly Juby discards or disposes with uh, Le Monsieur, his, uh, his neighbor. So that's really, really done to be dangerous. But he's going to try to bring it here. And now all that's not going to be good. And there is the driver of Fox going around. So I don't know about you. I can't even go back to him at the moment. I can't just uh, yeah. on Galileo. He's got a, ooh, not pressure, the front wing tapping, grinding, bumping, everything's going on here as the sun sets on Abu Dhabi, mate. Look at Look who's about to challenge Justin for the lead of this race. Guess who? Jim, Jimmy. Jimmy. That man. A happy right camper. About that yeah. racing incident. Fox has done that. The only thing I notice is that Justin is not deploying at all. Jimmy is. And... Just George, where's George? He should be up the road here because we're on board with Nico. He's already gone. So that's uh, that's the McLaren driver has a bit of a spinneroo. George told you if you're gonna have a spinneroo, let me know. I'm just keeping an eye on the Ferrari driver at the moment, but because George told you if you're gonna have a spinneroo, let me know. I'm just keeping an eye on the Ferrari driver at the moment, but because he is uh, absolutely blistering on these flying these tires. But of course he's got the box again. 
Oh, Jimmy gets himself a three-second time penalty. Of course, he will have the DRS this lap, but he's Neon. Neon. So, sorry, Nikon uh, Dishu is Neon Dice. In where this is corner, he? Anyone? Trying to see where he is. He's already passed us about that corner there. That might bring out a safety car. Or not. Mm, no, no. we come out. Mr. Tipsy Bob about the hard tyres. There's going to be three abreast going in this corner, Tipsy. Sorry, no, I'm not running on board with that. I'm just keeping on a close eye on this. Oh, somebody's Jimmy. going around. That's Larson. I'm, like, I'm watching this. <laughs> yeah, I'm just keeping watching this fight with uh, Jimmy. Uh, Justin's doing a really good job here. Uh, he's not really deploying much battery. He's almost got a full battery, whereas Jimmy is looking for like a, like a lunge on anyone. So Justin's doing a really good job here. Of course, remember, Jimmy does have that three second time penalty. So. We'll see what happens in this run, uh, Biggs, because he's pretty close on this second DRS zone. Of course, whilst these guys are doing this, we've got Blindevink and Galileo further back. Blindevink, another driver not afraid to rough, and, rough it up with these guys for these positions. Ground behind them are uh, having a little bit of a moment there. They are teammates, of course, in uh, SLR. So I think you'd expect them to have a little bit more respect than they are. I wonder if they're actually in communication at the moment, still in the chat there, chatting to each other. Yeah, the teams. To, for, for the SLR race tomorrow, so if we're in, in the S to oh. tier four. Jimmy's going for it around the outside. Oh, it's going to be tricky. It's going to be, is he holding it on to it? Oh, he clips Justin. Or there's not, he doesn't clip Justin. Oh, and Jimmy's going to come under pressure. Oh, this is going to be three. Three of them into one. Almost two into one anyway. A little bit of contact there. Wheel banging. Justin's hanging Justin's on. Justin's hanging on. Oh, it's going to be really careful there, Blind, because he's going to get spun. Oh, but then he's going to lose out to Galileo. Galileo keeping a watch and brief from P4. Says thank you very much and gobbles up He's out right now. It's Prost versus Senna. Here comes Snella. Chief's not going to fight it. Oh, yeah, Chief's not fighting. Yeah, they're, they're not fighting too much, but they're still obviously not. So not they're hanging in that P3, P4, and that's that. Futuristic and Snelli are now tucked up together in P5 and 6 as need to get past Ocean Chief and can Lavi try to get past Ocean Chief? What do you think about Chief? The best. Look at this one up, up at the front side, but no, he's not side by side. He gets that position back off Galileo and he's going to challenge Justin. He's going to go on the outside. He's seen Jimmy do this, but Justin's got it covered off this yeah, right. section. This is a really great battle going on. Chief passes. What's going on here? Chief Osnella is fighting with Lavi. Lavi's off. Lavi is off. A little bit of contact between Snella and Lavi is off. And he's dropping back now. Oh, disaster. But he's not getting, he's not breaking that DRS. Oh, Justin getting a hot moment there at the exit of the final corner. He's he's almost out of the DRS zone. In fact, he is out. Justin stays within the DRS of Jimmy. Otherwise, J uh, Blind and Galileo are going to just suck him up. Here we go. Just our, our uh, bigs. Here we go. So we're, we're coming on round the hairpin. Let's from see behind, that. you can see that his red light is on. He's not deploying. Jimmy knows that he's got this covered off. How does it go? Everyone holds a position so far, but it's this second DRS zone. This is where the action happens. Blind the halfway it. through the race right now. We're just on halfway there, Tipsy Bob. So I hope you got your hydrating. We've got plenty of racing uh, to go. Uh, yeah, I haven't actually got anything at all, so I might need to dip out and get something. But we've still got this Jello in sector one. I think that was Jacob. Or Jacob. Nicely done. A clean sweep that was, as you say. Just drifted nicely across. Of course, Jimmy. if there's a late safety car. Justin really struggling there, running wide. One of these tires are starting to go off. So Galileo uh, is actually maybe playing this smart, not getting involved too hey, much. It's actually going to have clear air. He'll be okay. I forgot yeah, about the okay. tunnel. Uh, that was a good decision for Justin to pit because it doesn't give Jimmy. Jimmy loses uh, another place here. That's of course going to push him back even further whenever he does indeed go to pit. Blindevink having a little sniff. He knows not to use that up because he doesn't want to gift Jimmy the DRS in the second go. But Blind probably will go for it here. Man, Jimmy just in this race. So they're both boxing. Look at this. So here we go. This is going to be a battle of the pit crew as well as Justin. What can he do? What can yes, he Tipsy Bob so loves that part. So these guys are in the tunnel now. They are in the tunnel. They're going to come out and they're going to come out well behind. Not well, but they're going to come out a good fair bit behind Justin. You in fact, the challenge considering they're going to get the DRS. Oh yeah, trying to really struggling. Lynn's pretty much passed already. Yeah, I don't think he wants to put up a battle too much because he's on. Uh, and all this really just plays into Justin's hands, effectively. As long as he can keep that three-second gap 
uh, on blend. Although, considering how close oh, okay. are, this is going to be, yeah, he's gonna, yep, go ahead. Yeah, he's going to have the DRS on blend. Should be pretty straightforward. You know, he doesn't have much battery, so he's going to try and do this without battery. Now, the thing is. He's now going to give Blin. Oh, Jimmy's getting really twitchy. Jimmy's really starting to struggle here for some reason. He's getting twitchy over the last corner and then twitchy on that fast right-hander. Uh, Blin the Vink pits a nice win. No safety car will come out. Jimmy's not deploying battery. So here we go. Blin is going to go. He's going to sweep past on the DRS pretty straightforward. But, as I've said before, because he has no battery whatsoever. So he, if Jimmy was probably going to sit behind him now, are we going to sit behind for a while and charge this battery? Send him one up the inside. So Jamie got it back now. With that 11% battery, that was a pretty good move, I'd have to say. On the fresh boots, yeah. and he went to the mediums, quite interesting. Well, that's because I believe he... Uh, well, no, he's already used the soft tires, so he could have gone back to another set of softs. Yeah, he used mediums once. How anyway. soon do we need to be? He is pretty well positioned for good points here. You know, a late safety car, a fresh set of softs. You know, he could definitely challenge these guys for a top three punch. It's only getting an overtake on Lavi. Expect to see a little bit more late. So Justin's shaving about a second lap off Galileo, which means he's going to get him in no time flat. Galileo was the man that started on pole. Uh... Linda, of course, his saving grace he's got in the current P4 is he doesn't have any penalties. Although I said there's still plenty of time to go yet. He's going to have a go on Jimmy. Jimmy's not going to fight that. You can see he's not going to fight it. He's probably happy to let him go. Uh, I Futuristic wants to get past him. Futuristic is trying to get as many points as he can. This championship this evening is on a nice fresh tyre. Erlen's a very good defender too. Here, and I'll go to that. <laughs> yeah, it's getting risky. Man, don't risk it, Justin, man, come on. You've got the pace, you can do it, don't risk it. He's coming back, but... A, a little present in the box there for him to... What's happening here? Why is... Why is... Aston oh, Martins. I didn't this. Oh! Oh! Yes, Sorry. the Martins are going for it. Futuristic box. coming around now. Futuristic. Galileo had already passed the pit lane entrance, so he couldn't box and get rid of those 19 lap tyres. But he has to now, because he's going to be murdered. As you know, on old tyres. Versus... Oh, no, he's still too far back. My apologies. 32 seconds and change down the road. So, yeah, he's got a, a bit to go. He, these guys yeah. will all come out ahead of, of this house driver, for sure. You'll see on that track map. Yeah. That they're already leaving in that 10th or so second lap gap to Futuristic. Uh, do you know what, man? Don't be surprised to see the safety car coming in this lap. Yeah, it um, should. It will. Whenever it, well, yeah, whenever it gets to this stage. Yeah, cut a couple of corners if needed. I mean, so not futuristic. intentionally. And Merlin as well. So this is very, very interesting. Come on. Uh, well, Merlin, so we are going to get a mega uh, race. What, two laps, one lap, two laps to the end? Yeah, no DRS as well. No DRS, yeah. So it's going to be a battery deployment like mad. Expect lunges, expect carnage. Here we go. And this one minute. Yami wants it as well. Here we go. This is a... <laughs> Tom Callow gets one. But uh, so far, so good. Snelly's up there, up there in Mel. Mate, uh, this is a preview. What's going to happen perhaps here too tomorrow in your race here in Abu Dhabi? Uh, depending, of course, what the other guys do. Justin, of course, will be defending like his life depended on him. A three-second penalty hanging over him. Blind is sitting perfectly Blind is sitting perfectly here. In fact, you know what? Blind doesn't even need to fight these guys. If Jimmy wanted to pass, he probably could let him go because Justin's not going to get three seconds on him uh, in, in, you know, in this length of time. So actually... Yeah, it, it blend is, is sitting pretty tidy. Oh, here. Snelly's going to get him. That's probably one of those bad calls, isn't it? Like, do I go in? No, oh, no, it's not. He's been tapped at the most. Snelly Hanky. And that just clearly looks like Snelly got caught off because of the, of the difference. Forcing obviously. into a penalty is the yeah. only way you can do it. And if you, if you do, you have to get past still. Uh, yeah, but the thing is, though, it depends on how blend, you know, plays it. Because I know myself, if I'm in this position... Fine, but Binkley will win... The Abu Dhabi Grand Prix on the penalty situations. And then Jammy and Futuristic up there. Merlin, Crystals, Galileo, Ocean Chief, Larson, Snelly, that P10. And George sticking in there. By all four of these top guys, Blind, Vin, uh, Blind, Tranquilo, or not Blind, uh, Justin, Blind, Galileo, and Jimmy.